Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we're going to be discussing something very important in the world of jailbreaking, and that would be iOS 8.4.1 Beta 2, which was just released for developers today. <laughs> All right, so to start off in this quick video, we're going to be going over the new 8.4.1 beta 2, as well as how it may affect jailbreaking and how you can preserve the status of your untethered 8.3 or 8.4 jailbreak. So to start off about two weeks and two days ago, Apple seeded the first beta iteration of iOS 8.4.1 to register developers, which is currently available for download inside of their developer portal. And if you have yet to watch my video coverage on the first 8.4.1, 4.1 seed, I definitely recommend doing so now. So I will have that link to on your screens now in card and annotation format. All right, so switching over here to Apple's Developer Center, which is now partially accessible without having to sign into a developer account, you can view the latest beta releases. As you can see, we have iOS 9 beta 4. That's the latest beta of iOS 9 as of recording this video. Let's go ahead and refresh it just so you guys know that we are getting a live view here. So now that it's loaded, let's go ahead and scroll down and you'll notice we have iOS 8.4.1, but if we look at the build number as well as when it was posted, you'll notice this is the first beta of 8.4.1. It says that it was released on July 14th, 2015, which is a little curious, right? Well, we don't actually have direct download links for iOS 8.4.1 beta 2. Instead, you have to be on the first beta seed, and then you have to update via Apple's OTA or over-the-air update option. Now, luckily, I have a fifth gen generation iPod Touch on 8.4.1 Beta 1. Now we can't have the 6th gen on 8.4.1 because it was released after the first beta seed and we don't have beta 2 available for direct download yet. So let's go ahead and launch up settings here and I'm just going to go inside of general about and down below at the bottom for the version you'll notice that this 5th gen iPod Touch confirms it is indeed running iOS 8.4.1 and that is the same build number that we see here on Apple's dev center. So let's go ahead and tap back followed by software update and let's let it check for an available update. As you can see we have 8.4.1 beta 2. Now this is very interesting because we don't have a change log for 8.4.1 at all. The update here on this 5th gen iPod Touch is 38.1 megabytes. Let's go ahead and take that off screen now and you'll notice that when you're signed into a developer account you have the release notes for iOS 9 beta 4 but not for 8. 4.1. So that's a little curious, right? Well, essentially iOS 8.4.1 will just be released to address minor bug complications as well as probably to improve performance. Again, as of now, we do not know the changes featured in 8.4.1 betas 1 or 2. Though, seeing as Apple recently introduced Apple Music, it's definitely safe to assume that the majority of the changes found in the forthcoming firmware will address concerns with Apple Music. Because I know personally, Personally, I definitely have issues with some features of Apple Music, for example, when saving certain songs for offline playing, as well as accessing certain artists on the iPad. So there are some issues that I personally have noticed inside of the new music app on 8.4. If you happen to notice any other bugs in 8.4, whether it's related to music or not, let me know down below in the comment section. It'll kind of be interesting to see what your guys' experience is on iOS 8.4 or even 8.3 for that matter. If you're encountering various bugs, just be sure to leave them down below in the comment section and we can kind of get a discussion going there. Now, as far as jailbreaking is concerned, the firmware will almost definitely patch the Taiji untethered jailbreak, though there are three plausible scenarios. So let's go into the first and most likely. Apple will probably patch the vulnerabilities exploited by Taiji in iOS 8.4, meaning that iOS 8.4.1 will not be jailbreakable without an update to Taiji and the use of new vulnerabilities. Chances are good though that Apple won't close all of the vulnerabilities that Taiji exploits, but enough to make it so that updating the utility will burn through so many that it won't be justifiable to release a new version of Taiji to jailbreak 8.4.1. Now the second scenario is that while 8.4.1 does close some of the vulnerabilities exploited, Taiji will release an update to support 8.4.1 and provide yet another jailbreak. Now the third and final one would 
would be that Apple doesn't patch the Taiji jailbreak and that they leave it functioning until iOS 9 is released. Now, while you say, yeah, that sounds very far-fetched, it actually happened last year with iOS 7.1.x. So initially, Pangu released the jailbreak for 7.1.1, Apple released 7.1.2, and they didn't close it until they issued iOS 8.0 in the fall. So that could happen again, though it's already happened with iOS 8.4, seeing as Taiji was initially intended for 8.3, and 8.4 didn't close the jailbreak. So we'll see if that happens this time around with 8.4.1. But either way, guys, it will definitely be interesting, and if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, just be sure to click the button down below next to my channel name to be updated when I release new videos covering not only 8.4.1, but also future jailbreak utilities. I will definitely keep you guys notified along the way, and if you're interested in any of my recent giveaways, I am holding a new iPod Touch 6 generation as well as an iPad Air 2 giveaway, then be sure to watch the video that I have linked to on your screens now because I go over everything in said video, as well as highlight how you can win either of the two new devices. And of course, be sure to rate this video up if you guys appreciate these type of updates, because believe it or not, it does take quite some time. And if you want to be updated even more often, then just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, as well as Instagram at ICUID. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.